This program is brought to you in part by the Dawson City General Store. Oh yeah, yeehaw, finally. <laughs> it's like we found the pot of gold at the end of an 8,000 kilometer rainbow. What's wrong? Looks like we're out of gas. At least she got us here. It's true, and that's a good sign. Do you think we're far enough away from home? Nobody's gonna find us here. We're at the end of the line. What's that saying of yours, anyway? Today is like a blank piece of paper that we just haven't written on yet. Hey? Okay. <laughs> well, let's enjoy these cigarettes, because we are out of cash. <sighs> Thank you so much. Now, we have to find Dick. Oh! Excuse me, sir? Mm. Hi. Um, I was wondering if you knew my brother Dick. Dick Dark? Mm -mm. No. Okay. I do have a photo. Hold on one second. That's him there. Mm. No? Um, the uh, Westminster Hotel? Okay. Uh, thank you. Bye bye. I don't know if we can trust your brother. Remember when he prank called 911 from our house? Oh, that was just a joke. Yeah, well, that joke cost us 700 bucks. Watch your step. Slippery. <laughs> uh, I think that hairy nut job's following us. Well, he did say he lives in a pink palace. Pink, yes. Palace, no. you guys come from? Aren't you happy to see us? Oh. So this is what you call living high off the hog. The Klondike Gold King, just rolling in the dough. What are you guys doing here anyway? Uh, we're here to surprise you. Come on, Dick. We're trying to talk. If something happens out there, I'll see it. I don't need to go out there anymore. What do you mean? You don't stay in this room the whole time, do you? No, I go downstairs for off sales. What are you guys doing here anyway? We're here about the article. What article? Uh, the famous article from back home. Famous? It says you made a fortune on your gold claim. Wow, I can't believe Kenny actually did it. We were just messing around. <laughs> what? This isn't real? Dick, this is everywhere back home. Please tell me you have a gold claim. Oh, I have a claim. Right there. Well, you got a gold claim, Dick. Then where's the gold, Dick? Hey, come on, guys, stop it. See, stop. I told you so. We're here at the end of the road with your idiot brother. Don't say that. I am one brown-eyed, handsome man, don't you think? Hey, come on. Let's be serious for a minute. If anybody tries to contact you about Tom or I, 
you haven't seen us. We do not exist here, okay? And you're not allowed to ask us any questions. One question. What? You got twenty dollars? You can't sit there. What kind of bar is this where you can't sit on a bar stool? Oh, what do they do? Back off. Whoa, fellas. Break it up. You tried to sit on the WW stool? That's Westminster Wendell's stool. See there? That's Westminster Wendell. He has the record for the longest time on a bar stool. But he wasn't on a stool. He gets a break every hour. Guinness rules. Longest time on a bar stool in the world. I'll go smooth his feathers. Don't let him take advantage of you. What are you talking about? Harry, you don't know it, but you're good. You got a generous nature. Dick, he sucked you in his whole life. Girl, this is my sister, Harry. You've already met Tom. Tom, Dick, Harry. What'll it be? A round of gold. You're surprisingly uh, good on the piano, but you're a little flat. You ever consider getting it tuned? <laughs> nice one, Tom. First you sit on Wendell's stool, then you make Barnacle Bob cry. Why don't you piss Pearl off, too? Then we'll have no music or beer. 24, 25. Put mine on my tab. These guys are on their own. 1950. It's a lot for two draft. Fines. Making Barnacle Bob cry at happy hour? Sitting on Wendell's stool. Well, you'll both work for me until you pay off your debt. At least you got a job. <laughs> This program is brought to you in part by the Yukon Employees Union and Max Fireweed Books. Not there. That's Wendell's. You mean he lives here? Hell no. He's got a little cabin. But he sleeps here most nights because he's got to hold on to his title. Plus, he's a night cleaner. Huh. Say. I'm pretty good at this. Forget it. If you're looking for work, go to the Dawson Employment Center. Hey, Tom. You know, I was thinking. You and Harry can stay in my room until you get on your feet. Right. And when you're done these dishes, bring them up to my room. Oh, and I left a little present in the toilet for you. Maybe we could move to BC to get some jobs. Tree planting in the spring? What are you on about? Sorry. 
we've just got to get out of this crappy hotel off of this floor. Disgusting. Look, I'm worried about Dick. He apparently never leaves this hotel. And he doesn't seem to have any friends. Yeah, but did you ever stop and ask yourself why nobody cares about him? You're the only one that cares about him. Nobody's ever gonna love Dick. That's not true. Look, just keep it down. He's gonna hear us. They know better than phoning during radio bingo. And we have a winner. Let me guess, you're Chichaco's looking for Skookum jobs. Pardon me? Skookum? Powerful, strong, good. <gasps> Here's a Skookum job. Laundromat attendant. I love folding laundry. I had the neatest line in Cape Breton. Look though, it's just half of what you made back home. What about you? Astrophysicist. Our astrophysicist position was filled yesterday. There is a job at the dump. I refuse to even consider it. Thank you. I can do that. You paid off your debt. That's it. Come on, Pearl. You could use a strong man around here. Tom, around here, strong men are called women. Look, I'm mending these for you. They were in pretty rough shape. You, you ruined them. They're supposed to be like that. Really? $12, Bob, for the load. Okay. Hi. Um, you know what? Uh, you know what, Bob? That's okay. I'll get it this time, and, um, and no, no, no. No, I, no. Bob, uh, I can't accept these dogs. No, Bob, Bob. You only owe me $12! This program is brought to you in part by Yukon Health and Social Services and the City of Dawson. I was an athlete, see? Speed skater. And I got in trouble with drugs. Steroids. Speed. <laughs> Selling it. Figured in a territory so big with 0.07 people per kilometer, I could hide. This one is so realistic, I swear she sheds every spring. Don't you? No, no. She doesn't like to be touched until she gets to know you better. Hey, why don't you meet my lady friend? Join us for a drink. Wendell, I don't suppose you wanna... Sienna draws inspiration from me. I'm in art. And I'm her muse. <laughs> Look! Look <laughs> what I found! Aren't they so cute? No <laughs> way, Harry. We don't even have a place to live. Oh, come on. We could make some money selling puppies. Puppies? No, they're brothers. They're fixed. They're known as the boomerang dogs, Buster and Brutus. 
People take them out to the bush, leave them there, and they keep finding their way back to town. If they're staying in your hotel room, there's an additional charge for that. We gotta take them back, Carrie. No, 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 no. We don't even have enough money to feed these dogs. We might be coming out onto the high seas, and then the water might get rough and dangerous, but it's okay, because we have each other. What am I going to do for work? Oh, we might get stuck in the brambles a little bit, but don't worry, because we love each other. Oh, hey. Yeah? What about Dick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what we should do? What? <laughs> We should check out Dick's gold claim. Oh, I don't know. That's a touchy subject. He doesn't need to know. Besides, we'd be helping him out. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna need that bed. What? Seriously? Harry. Mm. Harry! <clears throat> what? She's making me put on a condom. Can you grab me one from over there? This program is brought to you in part by Whitehorse Motors and Sandal Mining. Hey, fellas. Hang on a second. Still no jobs here for astrophysicists. Well, thanks for keeping me posted. I'm out of here. He's a proud man. Proud man? He needs to talk about it. You too, crazy eyes. No cost, government will pay. Like this is gonna solve anything. There'll be interruptions from time to time. I'm also the mayor. There are 0 0.07 people per square kilometer in the Yukon. Can't we find a more private place? Anai, that means come in Guichin. Let's go. Okay. So why did you leave? It was her idea. We were all set up. And then the hurricane. Ah, the hurricane.
We found out our insurance didn't cover hurricanes. And we lost the house. But not the mortgage. Then we lost our jobs. God, I hope we have enough gas to get there. I put in my last roll of wounds. Mm, just a little bit of gold. It's gonna go a long way, though. Dick was there. <sighs> Looks like your lazy brother only dug down about two inches. Okay, uh, hey, hey, let's relax. It's frozen. It's got like markings on this part. Kind of looks like a spearhead. Huh. I wonder if it's worth something. We should talk to uh, the bingo lady. You know, the counselor, the mayor. I'll show it to her. Okay. This is called Guess a Picture Contest. Oh. Chinese, hand embroidered, silk tapestry, Ming Dynasty. It's a couch. Thanks, Tom. I just won $50 gift certificate. Oh, Phyllis. We found this out at Dick's claim. I'll show this to the elders. and kiss and make up. Sorry about calling you a dick, dick. Tom. Let's put it all behind us. Why don't you ring the bell to celebrate? Is that what it's for? What does that mean? You just bought a round for the entire bar. The hero of the day gets to pay. I'll get even with you, Dick. We're tangled in the reeds. We'll come out in the clearing together. He won't have the last laugh. Bye. 